Hey guys, what's up? This is White Boy for the win, and welcome back to Why Mega Evolve. Now, earlier last week we talked about Mega Seismitoad, and today we're going to be talking about Mega Trevenant. But before we get started, let me just give you guys a brief explanation of what this series is about. Now, every week I will be picking two Pokemon that either need a Mega Evolution, deserve a Mega Evolution, or want a Mega Evolution for. Now, this is based off my opinion, my opinion alone, and no one else's. Now, if you guys do not like my opinion, then please post your opinions in the comment section down below. But what would you keep? What would you change? and etc. And at the end of every video, we'll be telling you guys which Pokemon we're going to be talking about the following day. So with that said, here is Mega Trevenant. Now, like I said in my Mega Seismitoad video, if you guys watched till the end, Trevenant really isn't like one of my all-time favorite 6th gen Pokemon. I mean, it's a cool Pokemon. I like the concept. It's like a spider tree thing which is really really cool and it's not that it actually needs a mega it's just that i would like to see what its mega design would look like because honestly like i said it doesn't really need it because like it's oh it's bulky enough as it is if i'm not mistaken it's in the uu tier and it can actually pretty much hold its own in that tier <clears throat> or whatever tier it's in i'm not like really knowledgeable on like all the tiers on like which pokemon is in which but the last time i remember i believe trevenant is in uu but nonetheless like i said the only reason why i would want to have like a mega trevenant is for pretty much design purposes just to see what it would look like so anyways as you can tell from what i've done to its stats i did increase everything but decrease its speed by 30 that way i have an extra 30 points to distribute because honestly when you uh trevenant is not supposed to be made for like a very fast pokemon it's supposed to be made for like i would say like a stally bulky Pokemon while being somewhat offensive because most of the time when you run a Trevenant you have the Harvest ability with like Will-O-Wisp, Horn Leech, a Shadow move like Shadow Claw or Sh Phantom Force I think that's what the move called and something else along the line with the moves and you're pretty much set to go and also while having Trevenant being very slow it's a very good Pokemon to set up Trick Room because if I'm not mistaken as well Trevenant does get access to Trick Room so this is another potential Trick Room user if you want to go with that route as well now with that let's just get right into it now for its physical attack I increase it from base 110 to base 130 30. Now, really, I didn't want to give it too much of it, uh, like an attack increase, just because at base 110 already as a regular Trevenant, it's actually pretty powerful. But I wanted to increase it to base 130 because obviously it's supposed to be made for like a bulky Pokemon as well, and it gets access to Power Up Punch. So if you want more attack, and you can run Power Up Punch on your Trevenant. So it's not like base 130 is bad. It's it's just that I wanted to make this thing more bulky, and that's what I've done. So with base 130. 30, I actually think it's a very good placement for a physical attack for Trevenant. <clears throat> Now for its special attack, I increased it from base 65 to base 110. Now I also wanted to actually increase its special attack dramatically to base 110 because Trevenant does get access to uh, some like special moves. So if you don't want to run like the physical variant, you can run the special variant because uh, with Trevenant being a grass type, it also gets access to Giga Drain because if I'm not mistaken as well, Giga Drain is a battle, what is it? Battle Mason, like battle point thing. You can actually teach your Pokemon like Giga Drain and stuff like that. So you can run Giga Drain, Shadow Ball, and your two stab moves with Will O Wisp and I don't know, like Protect or something like that. So with base 110, it, uh, you can pretty much go either physical or special, depending on which route you want to go to for like your extra coverage moves. Because most of the time you're probably going to be running like a bulky variant for a Trevenant. Now for its physical defense, yes, I know I increased it from base six, 76 to base 113. I really dramatically increased its physical defense because like its physical defense was its second lowest stat being at 76 while well, its speed being at base 56 now most of the time when, when people run trevenant they run either like a bull nature or a no not bull nature an impish nature because it's not really a special attacker all that much as a regular trevenant so you run like the bulky physical uh defensive variant so then you can eat up like flare blitz braid birds and stuff like that hopefully because that's what a lot of people like to do so i wanted to give it a <clears throat> Sorry about that. I wanted to give it a significant increase into its physical defense to base 113. That way, this thing will be able to eat up hits for days. Pretty much physical type hits because I know that its physical defense isn't really all that 
high at base 76 so with base 113 this thing is just going to be eating up hits for days and recovering health depending if you're going to go with horn leech or with giga drain now for its special defense i increased it from base 82 to base 110 like i said i wanted to make trevenant like a slow like bulky pokemon as well and with its attack and special attack being somewhat a little bit high already well excluding its special attack i think it was actually necessary to increase its defenses really really high so that's why it's physical defense is at base 113 and it's special defense at base 110 and also it can eat up special hits like shadow ball flamethrowers and stuff like that that's pretty much weak to and potentially eat them up now i already discussed its speed now as a regular trevenant is based at that 474 and with the mega evolution is going to be at 574 now for its ability i actually gave it the thick fat ability now there's various reasons of why i've given it thick fat and the main reason was that like when it comes to trevenant and it's based off of a tree uh i i always thought that like i wouldn't say i thought but like there's different kinds of wood like red oak oak i don't know other 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 woods that people have to use the burn i don't know but i what is i can't remember what the tree is named i think it's called the redwood that's like like the i would say is the best and it's like fucking huge and pretty much i can see this thing like what's the word i'm looking for it's bulky enough I, that's the best excuse I can come up with right now. I, don't, I, I just can't think of like the redwood because I'm not too knowledgeable on trees, I would say. But thick fat, it's going to be eating up fire type moves and ice type moves up very, very well. And also, <clears throat> it's pretty much going to be making them neutral rather than like super effective. And so. With base 113 defense and base 110 special defense, it's going to be eating up all like flamethrowers, flare blitz, ice beams, and like ice shard and icicle crash. So I wanted to make this thing a little bit more bulky, so I gave it a thick fat, pretty much just nullifying the super effective on fire type moves and ice type moves on Trevenant. Now for its typing, I left it alone as Grass Ghost. I really like that typing on Trevenant. It's I wouldn't say it's unique considering we do have a gore geist that is ghost grass or grass ghost so um i want to say unique but it's not but either way it's a very very good typing so with that there is mega trevenant so anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button also don't forget to comment and subscribe now i know this video was a little bit shorter than others but i just said what i needed to say and that's pretty much the gist of it now the next pokemon we are going to be talking about is now we're going to go back to i would say second gen but we're also going to go back to fourth gen considering that this pokemon was a pokemon Pokemon that had an evolution in 4th gen, which is Ambipom. So, on Friday, we are going to be talking about Mega Ambipom. So, like I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, don't forget to comment and subscribe. So, this is White Boy for the win, and I'll catch you guys later.